Well, the next couple of weeks will be filled with most of us madly shopping for those perfect gifts. And once you've found them, well, why stop there? There's nothing better than a beautifully wrapped package for a magnificent finish. So joining us now to share some tips on holiday gift wrapping is Alton Delaney, do-it-yourself crafts extraordinaire and director of creative services for Kate's Papery. Alton, welcome and thanks for being here. Good morning and happy holidays. Same to you. So uh, I want to start by mentioning that you've also been crowned the most gifted wrapper in the Scott gift wrapping competition. That's a little tongue twister there. <laughs> it's also very impressive though. Yeah, that's right. You know, Scotch 3M does this contest every year where they really acknowledge and uh, do a cross-country gift wrapping competition to really recognize the talent. And I participated in the 2008 competition and won the grand prize. And the, the finale of the show was wrapping a baby grand piano, which was a lot oh, of fun. Geez. <laughs> So what did you do to make yours different? Well, you know, I just tied on a lot of bows and did lots of paper uh, on it, uh, lots of fans and folds. But it really goes along with our Kate's Papery theme that if you can fit it through the front door, we'll wrap it. And if not, we'll come and meet you on the sidewalk. See, now if I tried to wrap a grand piano and stuck a bunch of bows on it, it would look like someone's nightmare. Um, all right, so you have some tips on wrapping that most of us can follow. So let's take a look at those. First off, to embellish or to disguise? What do you mean by that? Well, anytime you have an unusual object, or even if the object is not that unusual, you can decide whether you want to embellish it or disguise it. Here, you might could guess, we've wrapped a tennis racket, but what we've done is we've <laughs> used some beautiful paper to put around it, and then we've tied on a great bow. Now, if your wrapping skills are not quite so advanced, you can always just go with a bow, and a beautiful bow makes anything a little bit nicer. That's a great, that's a great job there. All right, next, you say make the package part of the present. Give us an example here. Well, there is lots of ways to make the package part of the present. My favorite is just by adding on a simple holiday ornament onto the box. It really oh, dresses it up. And as you can see here, we've just used some basic craft paper, but we've tied on these beautiful sparkly ornaments. Now, when your recipient opens this, they have a little gift left over. They can hang this ornament on the tree or put it in a window or whatever it is, but it just puts the present in presentation. That is a very cool idea. I've gotten those before, and it always is kind of nice to have that one extra extra little special gift. Um, you, you next say cook up something special. Uh, we're not really talking baking here. Well, you know, a lot of people do like to bake, and I am talking baking. And mm. so if you make some brownies or homemade cookies or whatever it is, a decorative tin is always a great gift. And these are not your grandma's tins. There's a lot of cool tins out on the market right now that can be really cool. And you can see here I've used some plastic cutlery that I've yeah, tied on here. Yeah, that's very cute. So I've really decorated up the bow as well and really made this a really food but special gift. Now remember, something to remember is anytime you are using food, uh, using food, you have to use food safe tissue. So oh, that's a good tip. There is a German wax tissue paper that you can use. It's food safe. You're, it won't bleed onto your paper, and it's really beautiful for inside the tin as well. You definitely don't want to stick the newspaper in there. That's right. You don't, for sure. All right, so the next tip you say, think outside the box. Talk us through this one a little. There are so many great packaging ideas out there, so you don't have to just think your basic box. Now here, if you're giving a travel gift, you could use one of these really cool vintage red paper suitcases. What a great idea this is, a great idea. You just tie on a ribbon. That's and so you unique. Can, and you can see I've used a luggage label here as the name tag on this. So again, it's just adding a little gift on top of the gift. Or let's say, for example, you were giving tr airline tickets or a, tr uh, a getaway for someone. Again, put it in a really cute little uh, red paper suitcase and what a great bon voyage gift this can be. Yeah, that's great. That's so unique. Uh, another tip, you say do it yourself. Is this a good way to save a bit of money? Well, it is a way to save money, but more importantly than that, you can really uh, make it an activity for the whole family. So with just using a basic rubber stamp and some ink pads, you can make your own holiday paper. Here you can see I've stamped on Santa Claus across the paper, and then I've just <laughs> gone in with a color pencil and colored it in. The really cool thing about this, too, is you can make matching greeting cards just by using blank greeting card stock, so your greeting card could actually match your, your gift wrap. Again, this is a fun project for the whole family. Yeah, I was going to say that looks like something fun that kids could get into as well. That's right. Kids of all ages would really enjoy this project. Okay. So you also say, and you said this earlier, put the present in presentation. That's right. Give us some good ideas. It is one of our themes at Kate's Papery is to put the present in presentation. So here you can see that we've used a little extra gift box on the outside of the package. I've just attached this own. This gives you two opportunities. One, it dresses up your package, makes it a little pretty. Second, it gives you another little present there. These comes in all kinds of shapes and colors, and you can just glue these onto the outside of your package and really make it something special. <laughs> All right, final tip, you say recycle, reuse, re-envision? You know, one of my favorite things that's out there right now is decorative tape. And by using decorative tape, you can ah. just go with any 
plain paper that you might have lying around the house, and you just add this decorative tape on, which really makes it a, a little more interesting. You that can see, really adds a lot to that. You know, here I even just taped a regular on a, bow. That's right. I, here I even taped on a candy cane, so it makes it the ribbon, it makes the candy cane, the whole thing. And there's a lot of options in this too. If you want something more graphic, here's another option, a little more graphic, but it's still the same basic concept: decorative tape. You can also use this on plain brown paper, the inside of a shopping bag that you might recycle, or newsprint. Great for mailing gifts through the mail, too. It really dresses it up, even for the post office. Okay, so you also have a few basic ideas for gift wrapping. Take us through those. That's right. There's three basic rules to keep in mind whenever you're wrapping any package that makes it clean and professional looking. One is no exposed tape, one is no exposed edges, and then the third is clean, crisp corners. This is a great example of that because you can see I've wrapped this gift here. We folded in all the edges of our paper so there's no exposed edges of paper. It's I've, tough to get those corners though. <laughs> well, corners are tight, but a trick to do is when you get done, you can just run your fingers around the edge of the package and it really tightens those up and cleans ah. up those corners. So it really helps make a nice clean look. Nice tip. I uh, now have to go home and rewrap all my gifts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still early, so I hope everyone's out there wrapping. And at Case Papery, we offer a full-service gift wrapping bar, so anyone who comes in, we do wrapping in the store as well. Okay, great. Thanks so much, Alton. Thanks for joining us. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. All right, and for more on Alton's gift wrapping tips, you can check out katespapery.com. And that's all we have for this edition of Now You Know. I'm Katherine Brown in New York. Thanks for watching. ABC News Now. Good to know. ABC News Now. Good to know.